look at me. I'm a criminal. I'm not running for America. Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on. We're doing this again. I really, really just, I just want one win, please. I would love to just survive the nuclear apocalypse. Is that so much to ask? So we're giving it another shot. I mean, I could do it on little boy difficulty, but let's go fat man. I wouldn't feel good if I beat it on the lesser difficulty. So let's do it. Begin adventure. Now, top of the priority list is the radio because it's one of the key ways of surviving let's let's just note where a radio is i don't see the radio where i don't see it where's the stinking radio is that the that's that's the boy scouts handbook okay that's not what i need all right you know what we're just gonna make the best of this i guess so oh, this is not going good uh you know what let's grab our wife Oh, I didn't actually drop the stuff off in the bunker. Okay, you know what? We're restarting. Okay, at the top of my priority list is the radio. I have neglected the radio for too long. So let's see where... Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Radio, and then uh, I'll grab that water, and I probably can't grab Timmy. I probably won't have enough room for Timmy. Oh, actually, Timmy's a, a two... Yeah, he takes up two slots, so he's actually perfect. All right, throw him in there. All right, let's 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 grab some more stuff. What is that? Harmonica? Okay, I mean, I guess. Uh, Dolores is a two-slaughter, too. Uh, so let's, let's grab her. All right, good. We've, we're maximizing our, our potential uh, gains. here uh yeah sure uh we'll grab the gas mask and the axe where is mj i would love to turn her into a mutant um maybe i don't know we'll we'll see if the opportunity presents itself i would like to see her turned into a mutant again because that was funny uh grab the suitcase i guess and just toss that in there uh we need more food and water and everything basically just Grab that, grab that, grab the first aid kit. No, I don't want the bug spray. Oh, we are so dead. Oh, just go for the bunker. It's not good. That was, that, that could have gone a lot better. Um, I am concerned for the well-being of, of my entire family. All right, let's see if we at least got something good in the basement okay we already had a first aid kit in here we also had ammo in here other than that the supplies that we picked up are what we've got so let's make the best of it nobody eats or drinks on day one you hear me nobody and we're not sending anybody out into the wasteland right away let's let's give it some time first all right so it's day five it's drink water day everybody's favorite holiday oh my gosh Playing with matches is never a good idea. Doing so in a tiny underground shelter is probably even lower on the good idea scale. A few matches later and we ended up with flames licking up one of the walls. Time is short, we need to put it out and save our supplies. What do we save? <sighs> the radio, obviously, but that's a bummer. We're gonna lose our first aid kit. I hate it already. <laughs> Look at the burn marks on the side over here. Also over here, we need our source of information. We went for the radio first and were able to grab it before it was engulfed by flames. Unfortunately, our other supplies weren't so lucky. We need to evaluate our losses. First aid kit's gone and it hurts. All right, here's our first radio broadcast. Let's listen in. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Okay. All right. Maybe it's time to send someone out. People are starving and dehydrated. So I'm going to load them up even though it's only day nine. And Ted is dehydrated. So I'm going to give him water. Oh man, that hurts. Let's send out Timmy. Timmy is a legend. We've established that. 
absolute legend. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so, you know, they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military, all right. All right, we're sending out Timmy. Should we give him the suitcase? That's kind of interesting. So when you give him the suitcase, it allows him to carry a whole bunch more stuff. Very interesting. I think I'm just gonna give him the ax. Yeah, let's give him the ax. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. That's right. Um, this is like other survivors in another town. You know what, Ted? Go get the phone, buddy. Don't die getting the phone. That would that would be a bummer. Okay, he lived. Yeah, survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. All right, well, we'll keep that in the back burner for now. Oh, good. Mutated rodents are attacking our supplies, and we have nothing to defend against because Timmy took our axe. I hate it. Oh, please don't take my water. They didn't take my water, but they took my soup, which is less bad, but still bad. Oh, everybody is dehydrated and starving. I can give them f full supplies, but that leaves us with very little to work with. I'm gonna, but this is not looking good. What? Breathe calmly. One, two, three. That's better. Don't panic. Don't panic. We need to open the door this instant or we're all going to die. Open the door. I mean, yeah, let's open the door. Maybe? Oh, this seems really bad. Okay, we're still alive. Was that Timmy? No, it wasn't Timmy. It was Ted getting very sick. You're green, Ted. That's not good. Ugh, opening the door and letting contaminated air in was a great idea. Now, instead of phobias, we need to deal with vomiting. I hate the apocalypse, officially. Just, I'm going on the record. <gasps> Tim, you didn't, you, you brought a whole bunch of soup, but you didn't bring water. Also, Ted has a sock puppet. Okay, he did bring one bottle of water. Four cans of soup is awesome. We desperately need water though. Oh good, Ted is crazy. By the way, that's neat. Should we send MJ out on an expedition? Yeah, you know what? Let's send her out. Oh, we got radio chatter. That's good. This situation right here, this is less good. <laughs> Ted's mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. At least he has a sock puppet friend. All right, MJ, head out there, but I'm not gonna give you anything against my better judgment. Just go get him. <laughs> oh, Ted. <laughs> oh. Timmy is dehydrated, so I'm gonna give him water. We only have one more click, basically. It's very, very bad, in case you're wondering. Oh no, we were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area, then leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. The problem is they've provided us with geographical coordinates, but we need a map to find out where we're supposed to be headed. Otherwise, it's just complete gobbledygook. And we don't have a map. I like that sound though. But. Well, I think we're gonna die again, and that bums me out. But at least Ted is having a great time with his sock puppet. We found an unsigned letter today. The stranger asks for our help. There are few in grave need of supplies, and we have a chance to help them. They're saying that we won't regret it, and we would make several people have soup to spare. The, the water situation is where we're in trouble. Please bring us water. Could you spare some coins, sir? Some coin, sir, just some coin, please. Okay, so Ted and Dolores are both dehydrated. Very bad, in case you were wondering. Um, let's feed Dolores and let's feed Tim. We don't necessarily have to feed Ted. Oh no, we have the snoring incident between Tim and Ted. I guess the suitcase, let's try that. Oh, 
We found a flashlight. Okay. Little Timmy squeezed almost perfectly into our suitcase where he dozed off. Whatever noises Ted might have been making, the sturdy suitcase proved almost soundproof, and Timmy finally got a good night's sleep. So not only did Timmy get to sleep inside of the suitcase, but he found a flashlight inside there. That's awesome. Still not water, though. So I can only choose one person to, uh, to have water. I'm gonna give it to Dolores because, let's face it, Ted? He's got, he's got a lot more issues than just thirst. Someone's playing the harmonica. It was Ted. Ooh. With his final moments, Ted played the harmonica. I'm so sorry, Ted. Uh, Ted died. To, uh, to have water. I'm gonna give it to Dolores because, let's face it, Ted? He's got, he's got a lot more issues than just thirst. Someone's playing the harmonica. It was Ted. Ooh. With his final moments, Ted played the harmonica. I'm so sorry, Ted. Uh, Ted died of dehydration. Not entirely unexpected. Sorry, Ted. Now, we do have an issue. Expedition, Mary Jane asked for a chance to contact her date via written note to apologize for not showing up. Should she be allowed to do that? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna let her do it. Bad news. Mary Jane's boyfriend got eaten by a mutant raccoon. I'm sorry, Mary Jane. I'm very sorry. Let's send Mary Jane out into the wilderness. She's sick, but we desperately need a first aid kit to heal her, so I'm gonna send her out. We are once again out of water, by the way. Not good. Go get him, Mary Jane. Please don't die. She's probably gonna die. But at least we got our cat. You know, that's cool. Dolores is dehydrated, in case you were wondering. It's very bad. Oh no, what is Dolores doing? What what is this? You look you look a little disheveled. Dolores no longer talks to us. Earth to Dolores, can you hear us? No, she can't. I'm gonna give her food. It's not gonna do her any good. When someone knocked on the door, we were suspicious and cautious, but after a few minutes of talking, it turned out it was just a group of old ladies who were at a tea party not far from here when the bombs dropped. We thought it would only be good manners to talk to them face to face. When we opened the door, those old bats attacked us with their umbrellas, canes, and something that looked like a spiked table leg. We need to fight back. When old ladies attack, huh? Use the bug spray. Just spray them in the face, like mace. Dolores died. Yeah. And MJ brought back water. She brought back water. <sighs> uh, that hurts so bad. She died of dehydration. I knew it was going to happen. You perished yet again. I just can't do it. That was a tough run. I admit that I probably could have made some better choices, but even the start was, was pretty brutal. We did not have a lot of water to work with for pretty much the entire time. Either way, I'm still having a ton of fun with 60 seconds re -atomized. I also recognize and know that there's a sequel to this game. We will definitely play the sequel. 60 Parsecs, I think is the name of it, but not yet. I still wanna play 60 seconds re -atomized. I wanna win, so please help me. I need your tips. I need your guidance. I need your advice. I'm, I'm so sad. Everybody just keeps dying. But either way, hopefully you guys still enjoyed that episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.